Oh. I think what I am going to do today is kind of a nasty job, but it's probably a good day for it. I got this insulated in here a little bit, but it's quite a mess because, see, I had that mattress up there, and I got, I, it make this, this, uh, this kind of stuff gets all over everything when you do that. And I want to complete the ceiling and then get something over that. I'll probably use some of this signboard material like I did in the she shed so that I can get that mattress back up there. And then when I do the walls, I don't think it, you know, it'll, it'll hurt that up there. So, cause I'm going to have to, I might take all this stuff out of here to insulate these walls too. So that's what I'm going to be doing today here in a little bit. So that's my day. That's my plan. That's what I'm going to be up to. Y'all have a nice day wherever you're at and whatever you're doing. Love y'all. See you later. I did that for is because I want to go up there and really all I had up there was some flat two by fours before so when I got up there it was all bouncy gave me the feeling it was going to fall down which is not a really secure feeling you know when you're up on top of something like that trying to work so so I just reinforced it this so it'll be more sturdier and then I'm going to go up there and I've got some pieces of insulation already up there and I'm going to go up and, and, and figure out how to get them working from here on up to the front there. Once I do that, I might pull all these braces out and paper this with this signboard material and then put them all back. But we'll see. I got to I got to reorganize my organization here right quick. I do this creates an awful lot of splinters and dust. I don't really much like to breathe, but uh, <coughs> I think that made me sneeze too. A lot of times I can take these splinters and stick them in uh, to the cracks and the crevices. Hey, honey, baby. Thanks for recording for duty. All right, all right. Let me introduce y'all to Honey Bunny. She's come to help me paint today. Bless her heart. Whee! So what I was saying is I take all these little splinters in places like this. It needs more insulation. We'll get more. Let me stuff in that in there. Now I can go up here and do some more. I guess I'll do that side over there first. And then after that I'll be up here doing a little joy. You might be wondering if I have a plan for what to do with all these leftover pieces and all this dust and stuff. Well, I actually do. My plan is to cut it up in little tiny chunks and dump it in between these studs and let it go down in behind that wall. Um, you can buy bagged insulation, like fiber insulation. But I was thinking, well, if I got a bunch of these left over, 
literally I'll just chop them up and pour them down in there. I kind of did that over here. I got a little section here where I dumped a bunch of my scrap down in that to insulate down in there when I was uh, doing the other she shed and all that. So that's where all this will go that I don't use. It'll, it'll wind up getting in here. So I'll use every bit of it. All right, let me shut y'all off while I do this piece here. And then I'll go up top and work from up there after that. I think what I'm going to do, so I'm going to need to get up here at some point, is try to bring up a bunch of pieces and parts that I can use to do stuff like this with. So, I'm going to get me some boxes full of stuff. What I did back yonder, after I got it up, I spent a long time up in there just shoving little pieces of this stuff in all the cracks and all my idea on this is that we're going to try not to waste any of it. Use all of it. Best we can. I know I'm going to wind up wearing some of it, but it's all part of the fun, ain't it? Holy joy. Hey, baby. One of the thoughts I've had when I was doing this is was how to create a really low budget living space. We live in a world right now where a lot of people have a hard time making ends meet and housing is huge. Having or not having housing is huge and a lot of people don't have it. So I believe that living spaces can be created and, you know, I don't plan to live in this, but I like the idea that I could. Um, or somebody could live in something that they make themselves out of what they have on hand. I like that idea a lot. And I think the idea that you gotta have literally hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get in the house is ridiculous. That's just me though. I'm an old guy, and back in the old days, People did kind of make their own housing, you know, uh, if, when they could, if they could, and often that's the only way to get housing was to do something like that. I think I'm going to set y'all over on the, on the short side of the thing over here. And maybe you can see me, and if not, oh well, we'll do the best we can with what we got. Oh, don't let that ladder get away from me. That would be unfun. Not fun. Not much fun. That'd <laughs> mess up your day a little bit. <clears throat> Man. The next thing I need to do is come from here up to there. It'd be nice if I'd have brought a tape measure with me, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe I can get by with that one. Shade tree measurements here. Go get me a tape measure. Hardest thing I've ever done. You know it's messy and dirty, and uh, not a ton of fun, but it's easier than digging ditches or something like that. You know? Sometimes I find little pieces that'll go in here, in here pretty well. I'll tell you about that time I sawed my arm when I was a little kid. We was poor, we didn't have any money. I was trying to make a homemade skateboard, so I was holding a board like this and sawing it. And I 
I got a scar right here where I sawed my arm. Don't ever do that. You say <laughs> That's when I learned my lesson about that right there. Don't use yourself as a saw horse. Sometimes it might not work out too well. Now y'all can see here where I'm finding places to use some of these little pieces in in the construction of this. Put the camera up, baby. The only thing holding this in is the pressure of itself on itself, but all I need to do is stay in until I cover it over with something, and it'll be fine, and we'll be okay. I guess one side of it. See that piece over here? It needs to be done. Oh, it's wrong. My thoughts about what I'm going to do here have changed. Uh, you may have heard me talking. Maybe it was Honey Babe yesterday, or with Rusty, or with somebody, Jerry. We're about to buy a mobile home. Put it over there where the RV is. I was fixing this up so that if I ever came down here in the car without the RV, I'd have a place to kind of camp out. Well, now it looks like we're going to have a trailer that we're going to leave down here. So I don't need this as a camp out. But I'd already started insulating it, and I thought, well, just keep going. And, uh, you know, you Having an insulated built building is always going to be better than a non-insulated building. So, let's stop now. Just keep going. And uh, you don't, I don't know exactly what we'll use this for. But, uh, whatever it is, it'll be better with insulation than without. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I hope you enjoy. I had planned to put a bathroom and a kitchen and, uh, and stuff like that in here, but I don't know. I might still put a sink in here or something, just you know, in case I'm out in the garage and I need to wash my hands and I don't want to go in the house dirty. Just one of those maybe things, you know, maybe I'll do that. Where you could hurt yourself with a saw like that doing what I just did. That could be bad. Could be bad. You wasn't careful. Even if he was and you made a mistake, it could be bad. Yeah, okay. I'm getting pretty dusty doing that, but it worked. I think I got a little sliver. Oh, I got another whole side over here to do. Hold it, George. I don't really love getting this stuff in my lungs, but you know, I could try wearing a mask, but I'm, I don't know if I could actually stand to do so. So, get some living dangers here. Oh, well. One thing to wear a mask when you go in a Dollar General store, it's another thing to wear a mask when you're working like this. I should say, don't do what I do. I might used to say that. Do what I say, not what I do. I think it might not have been my dad, but it might have been an uncle or something that used to say that. My dad wouldn't say that. He said, do what the Bible tells you to do. That's the kind of man he was. I got a lot of good things from my dad. All right. See, a little skinny little piece right there. That I just cut off. 
might fit right over in here. Almost. That's close. Well, it seems pretty good. Now I got it all the way to here, so I got one, two, three more runs of it up in there. That's pretty good. We're getting closer. <laughs> I got a couple of odd long pieces here that could go up in there, maybe. Uh, Especially if they were close to the right side. Alrighty, I believe I've got this done up here all the way from end to end. And what I'm going to try to do next, I've got a big tarp out there in the driveway. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I'm going to try to get it up in here, up in the ceiling, and I'm going to disconnect each one of these little cross members here so that I can get right up in the top with it and then put them back on once it's up there because I want to seal this up now that piece out there ain't really big enough but I'll use it as much as I can I believe this building is 18 feet and I believe that's 16 feet so that'll get a lot of it and then what's left over after that will we'll look at and think about and make decisions about then once we see what we got done with what we got that's the plan that's the only plan i got so you know it's not if you don't think it's a good enough plan you to come do this yourself and i'll uh, i'll happily let you look over at any point all right i think i'm gonna need a screwdriver gone and then I'm gonna need to get up in there and see what I can do. Oh the joy.